Welcome to Collectors of the Coast. I am Cash. And I'm Dad. And I'm Slash. And Uncle Slash today brought a full box of mystery boosters for us to open on the channel. Uh, he did get them from the Upper Hand, uh, our, uh, our, our our local LGS. Link in the description. And Christian. So, yeah, the link is in the description. Um, I do have some coupons, actually, for the Upper Hand, too. So if people want uh, stuff, uh, let me know. Uh, I should have passed one on to Uncle Slash because he did not get a coupon. Uh, anyways, uh, so we are going to open the full box. We are trying to get Uncle Slash a Mana Crypt. That's maybe right. some, maybe a Savala, uh, the uh, the Elf. Yep. A couple Savala. of the big Elves. Uh, yes. Yeah, we haven't actually, I realize I haven't opened a Send Triplets out of this. So maybe we can get Send Triplets. That's a big card as well. So what is that? It's a card, man. It's okay. a Magic the Gathering card. It's, it, it's your dinner. You're going to eat Send Triplets for dinner. Nice. What do you think it is? It's a card. It's a creature card. Okay. All right. So we're going to, we'll get right into the box. Uh, we are, again, we're doing a promotion for uh, Double Masters for uh, for the new set coming up. Uh, we're looking for subscribers. If you are not subscribed and you're watching this video, subscribe. If you uh, have friends that aren't subscribed, let them know. Uh, everyone's going to want Double Masters. It looks awesome. We are going to pull somebody a force of will. All right. All right. So we're going to get into the box of Mystery Boosters. This is going to be a good box. I feel it. What do you think? Me too. Mm, yep. I'm super stoked. Wait, let's feel. Feels yeah, lucky. Yeah, feels lucky. Right. Feels lucky. All right, we're gonna get right into this. We've never done a full box of something. Of other. mystery boosters, yeah. yeah. Just the new sets, right? Mhm. Mm so uh, yeah, and this is Uncle Slash's uh, first uh, first go at this. So the nice part about this one is it has cards from so things. many sets. Yeah. Um, and they're they're beautiful. So, uh, all right, Curse of Opulence. That's a three dollar card. Cool. We know because we've opened that one Fog. a few times. Fog. He'll want to use that in some of his decks. Prevent all combat damage that be dealt this turn. So, classic card. Savage mm -hmm. Punch. All right, Kin Tree Invocation. Very nice. Millstone. Good mill card. Classic mill card. The classic mill card. Dothy Mind Ripper. So, what is it? We haven't opened that one in this. No. So, Shadow Card. So the nice thing with shadow cards, they can't be blocked by anything. Cool. Um, this one also has sacrifice him. Defending player chooses and discards three cards. Uses ability only if he is attacking and unblocked. The only thing he can be blocked by is shadow creatures. And since nobody plays shadow creatures, he's unblockable. All right. Angel of the Dire Hour. Very nice. Okay. Got yourself a 5-4 angel. Let's get a triple rear pack. When it enters, it has flash. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, exile all attacking creatures. Uh, he's not going to be able to see if you're leaning over the cards. Wow. All right. And blasting station foil. That's very nice. Nice. That's a good pack. That's a nice pack. There, there's so many. You're going to have so many good packs. So that's like a super. That's a super solid pack. Why don't we uh, put the foils? We've got our rares. I feel like that's a rare. They didn't really. Um, Back in the day, they didn't really separate the rares. It was hard to... There's no uh, gold or anything like that, so... Right. This pack is, like, kind of like a bad pack. Why? Because usually we get three rares. No, well, there's two rares there, I think. So that's pretty good. There's one rare. That is probably a rare. I'd... Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It, it's harder to tell on them. I don't think you can even tell on, on the wording or anything. Um, but they didn't used to have different colors. Skeletal Scrying is really good. It's a nice uncommon. All right. Won many a game with that card. Larger than life. I love the art. Hamlet Captain. Okay. Starter Enchanter. Very nice enchantment card. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, draw a card. Uh, Jungle Shrine. Really usable land. Tricolor land. Perforos. God of the Forge. This is going to be a three rare pack. And he got a mythic. Well, it's going to be nice. at least a two rare pack. This is uh, it's probably $15. Nice. Major money on this pack. Also, a second mythic. mythic. Dragon Lord Ujutai. Something like that. Cool. Very nice. Two mythic packs are good. And you got yourself a rare from Kamigawa. Wow. And we have not... Actually, we haven't opened uh, Dragon Lord. I don't think we've opened this guy. And I don't think we've opened this one. In all the packs, we've opened to these. He is beautiful. Whenever you play a legendary spell, draw a card. So he's a legendary oh. 
one view. I just realized the jungle shrine is like a triumph. Yeah, yeah. Just did. You just can't cycle them. So the, the nice part about the triumph, so the triumphs have a couple of good things about them. One, I think they count as a forest or a... Yes. They do? So you can pull them with the sack lands, like the search lands, and you can cycle them if you don't need them later in the game. So they've, they've got a couple of advantages to them. Uh, this card's good. You're going to like this one. Uh, slash. All right, healing hands. Uh, what do we got here? In soul artifact. Enchant artifact. Enchanted artifact is a creature with base power and toughness 5-5 five, five in addition to its other types. Wow. So that's pretty nice. All right. Mind rot. Essence Warden? I think you were looking for that at one point. When a creature enters the battlefield, you gain one life. Or something, maybe yeah. the white one. Uh, Hydra. Alright. Pretty good. Uh, Soothsayer. Good old classic Juggernaut. And... Oh, nice. Asceticism. Creatures you control can't be the targets of spells or abilities your opponents control, and you can regenerate target creature. Nice. It's a That's very amazing. nice card. I think this one's a bit pricey, too. Alright. And Boros Reckoner. Very nice as well like that one. I think it's a few bucks. And Heretic That's Ritual. Oh, foils are so nice. Mm -hmm. I love Still like foil. this Recky card. This is my this Recky one is my favorite. I love the art on it. I really like that foil one. You like that got. one? Oh, it's so beautiful. All right. Let's see here. So what do we got here? Sil Sir Eleonora. Wow. I didn't know. All right. This. Creepy looking dog, dude. Mm -hmm. Wow, he's... I think I just gave away the a foil at the end. So. Alright. So you got yourself a Balith Null. Got yourself a Grey Pult Refuge. Not bad. Boris Shards. This card's 20 bucks. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, it is great. When a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may destroy target artifact or enchantment. So you put one of these in a deck, you now have... Basically, enchantments and, and any kind of creature deck, you have enchantments and artifacts taken care of. Uh, it's oh. really good. And you got Flippid. <laughs> put this in a rare pile. He's so good. <laughs> and Lantern of Insight. Uh, this one's good for uh, controlling graveyard shenanigans. So, so Flippid is like $20, too. Okay. No, no, no. He's like 60 I'm pretty No. It's like a dollar. 50 cents, I think. Yeah. I thought he was old. No. He's not particularly old or anything. Thought Scour. Very nice. Wait. Oh, I like this card. Just love the art in it. Alright. Uncaged Fury. Smelt. Canopy. Thalid. Bloodbraid Elf. Very nice. Cascade Elf. Foundry Inspector. Artifact spells cost you one less to cast. Nice. Nice for Artifact Ramp. Timely Reinforcements. Wheel of Fate. So, uh, he's got sus it's got Suspend. You can only play it with Suspend, but each player discards their hand and draws seven cards. So if you can imagine playing this on, say, the second turn mm -hmm. with a, like a red burn deck, yeah. you then refill your hand and, and, and burn out, so it's real nice. And then Gorilla Tactics. Uh, this is pretty good, too. Okay, nice. I don't think we've actually drawn that one either. Or Wheel of Fate. We're getting some cards we haven't drawn in, in Mystery... Uh, Boosters. We haven't. We've hit a couple like pretty, pretty strong cards. We haven't hit any of the, the, the super big ones yet. We hit Still. one for a subscriber. No, no, but I mean in this opening, man. Mm. We're not talking about other days. This is today. This is. Explore. This one's nice. Uh, you may play an additional land this turn. Draw a card. So very nice. Good mana acceleration. Good common. Rampant growth. Again, something else you you, you need for acceleration in your decks. A day on reality. Evolving Wilds. Alright, you ready? Questing Flail Fell the Griff. <laughs> okay. Really fun card to play. Back from Plane Shift. You got yourself a second. Ooh, Eureka's really nice. This one's a bit pricey as well. This one's a bit pricey. Eureka, the Tiger Shadow, so he's got new jitsu, so you can when he attacks, you can put something else in play that's attacking from your hand if you pay a couple. Alright, and then Flame can harbinger. So that's real nice. One it's of the better cards. Commander in Ninjutsu. Yeah. Oh. So what does regular Ninjutsu do? Um, basically, if it's attacking, you can replace it with another card from your hand. Attacking. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's really good. All right. More artifact enchantment control. Uh, or of silence. Real nice. 
Good uncommon. Uh, probably, I don't know, what is it, a couple bucks. Thornwind Fairies. Uh, have we pulled this one? Oh, no. I don't there's a so. thousand. There's, yeah, there's like 1,500 cards in this set, so sometimes yeah. it's hard to remember. Mog Fanatic. This is actually a nice card, too. So many classics. Uh, you can sacrifice him to do one damage to target creature or player. So he's nice. You might get to attack with him a couple times, and then you get to sacrifice him if you want. All right. Aggressive Urge. Don't remember that art either. Maybe my memory's going. Raging Swordtooth. Either Spellbomb. Either Spellbomb's being reprinted, I think, in uh, Double Jump. Masters. And Jumpstart. Yeah. Chromatic Star. Rune Scarred Demon. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for a card, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. So you get a, uh, a tutor. Hmm. And then Gilded. Wow, we haven't had that. That looks beautiful. Wow. For e Fancy. Oh, it's an oof! It's an oof, yeah. And for each counter on target permanent, put another of those counters on that permanent. Wow. He is beautiful. Oh, lovely art. All right. In the foil, somebody we've got a couple of real nice foils in this uh, mm -hmm. in this opening so far. Mm -hmm. Had someone say the other day that our uh, our video was shaking and they uh, they said they were getting seasick. Just trying <laughs> to keep things not shaky on you guys here. All right, our table that we uh, that we do our videos on is an old table, so it's pretty. Uh, not the not the best. We gotta reinforce it or get a new table. Alright, Fierce Empath, very nice. Oh. Uh reprinted in uh Jump corset. Start. Not corset. Oh yeah. Uh alright. Thopter Foundry. Create lots of Thopters. Jungle Hollow. Hedron Crab. Beautiful. Wow. Hedron Crab is awesome. Oh my god. Wow. Face this card a few times, right? Very nice. Oh really good on common. Uh, I'm not sure what it's worth. Probably five bucks, maybe? Maybe more. Maybe ten dollars. Really not too sure. Uh, Sudden Demise and Azumi Short Fang. Very nice. Yeah, got a rare foil. All right. He's only got like he has gotten some really good cards in the uncommon slot, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. I think there's been like three or four really strong uncommons. Mm -hmm. All right, Sword to Plowshares. Uh, upgraded to uncommon. It was originally a common. Uh, wow. About a five dollar card, so really nice. Port Street Denizen. Can't even, I don't even know what some of these sets are from. Some of these reprints. Alright. Phyrexian Reclamation. Pay two life. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. It's real nice. It's going to be real nice in your black deck. Because I, I know he's making a, a black deck right now. You might mm -hmm. want to put that right in it. If you got much for creatures in there. Alright. Elvish Warrior. Prey Upon. Unlicensed Disintegration. Uh, another tricolored land. All right, Helm of Awakening, reprinted from Visions. Visions over 20 years old. All spells cost one generic mana less to play. What's that? What's generic? Uh, one, that's a generic mana. Oh. Okay, like one colorless mana. Oh. All right, you got Evra, Halcyon Witness. Exchange your life total with it. Not, not a real pricey card, but still nice. And this one's nice. Archetype of Endurance, creatures your opponent's Control, lose hexproof, and can't have or gain hexproof. And creatures you control have hexproof. It's like a double thing, so. Huh. We're well, about halfway through the box cool now. Alright, so we're having like a solid opening. I, I don't think we've hit like big. We are getting, we're kind of getting our val getting the value back for it. I'm betting if How we total this, this up. Cost? I have no idea. Between one and ten dollars. Okay. There's 1,500 cards in this. In this, I, I can't possibly know what they're all worth. All right. Uh, Sphinx's Tutelage. Not bad. All right. We just know some of the big ones that stand out. Or ones that we've opened before. If we've opened them before on the channel, I have a better idea because I've priced them. All right. Treacherous Terrain's not bad. Mishra's Factory. Classic reprint. Okay. It, uh, it's a land, but you can make it a 2-2 assembly worker creature. Um, some people used to play. Hey, Karn the Water, the creepy alien looking dude. Well, Got him the other day. could have a triple rare pack. And Mind Shatter. Oh! Target player discards X cards at random. <laughs> Pretty nice. Expensive, but... And then Eidolon. Oh, I wanted a triple rare pack. Of Rhetoric. Each player can't cast more than one spell. This is nice. 
anytime you're anytime you're not allowing your opponents to do something, uh, it's 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 real big in the game. So. Yeah, but we only have like one pack that's triple rare. Uh, it doesn't matter. We just want good rares. You know, this game. If in case you haven't noticed with Magic: The Gathering, it's a lot of time. It's just about having the best cards. You know, getting a getting a lot of. There's kind of some junky rares out there, so we want a really playable card. Uh, Thrashing Brontodon, been reprinted uh, a few times again. Lure. Well, he's oh Armadillo Cloak, one of my all-time favorite cards. Wow. Better than what's the other one? You remember what the other one's called this time? Nope. We just opened it the other day. Nope. One King of Cards. All right. So the nice thing about Armadillo Cloaks, if I haven't said before, you can stack them. So if you play two Armadillo Cloaks, you get to gain twice as much life. Cool. Yeah, and it only costs seventy-five cents. Uh, no, that's the other one, in foil. Oh. Yeah. All right. Crystal chimes. Beautiful. Dungrove Elder Hexproof. His power and toughness are equal to the number of four she controls. So this is a mono green card for sure. Prey Caesar Dragon. Creepy looking dragon dude. Okay. And are we gonna get a third rare? Nope. Lethal Sabotage. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Look at that though with the harp. Oh yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Wow. It's a nice foil. I'm just sad we haven't got You can you can copy it if you if you tap two untapped creatures you control that share a color with this. So nice. So you can do it twice. We've only got one like Like one rare foil? No, we've got like three rare foils, but okay. we have got like one triple rare pack. Conviction. And, you can return this to your hand. And it was a double mythic rare pack. And that was it. Well, that's not so bad. All right. Yeah, we haven't hit real big on this opening, but we're, we're doing okay. All right. And we still got half left, almost, or, or probably at least 10 packs. Uh, Esh Oracle. Esh Oracle. If you're playing a four or five color deck, really good card for uh, you get a 4-4 four, four creature and you can draw three cards out of it. Real nice. All right. Imperial Armor. Really good for a, uh, a big draw card deck. To Fairy's Protection, one of the best best cards in this. Until your turn, your light until your next turn, your life total can't change, and you have protection from everything. Wow. All permanents you control phase out. Exile to Fairy's Protection. It is awesome. So this is a big card. This is a big rare out of this set. Wow. This is uh, I think it was thirty or forty dollars. Wow. Okay. So that, that brings our whole hey! opening up. And a rare Boundless Realm. Search your library for up to X basic land cards, where X is the number of lands you control, and then put them onto the battlefield. Tap, oh, then shuffle your library. Your land. It costs seven, but you get potentially empty your library of land. Yeah, pretty much. So, pretty good. It's a, it's a weird one because usually when you have seven mana, you're not really looking for more mana. Yeah, true enough. Per se. But, um, Still pretty good. Again, right deck, right time. Certainly you play that. Okay, Righteous Cause. Whenever a creature attacks, you gain one life. Dream Cache. Very nice. Uh, draw card. Street Wraith. Resembling Skeleton. Ancient Grudge. Uh, Lanover Empath. I think you'll like him too. Ooh, Shardless Agent. Look at the art on that. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, another Cascade card. Very nice. All right. Guardians of Malaysia. So here's a big one. Draco. Yeah, Draco is not that good, but he is fun to play. He's a 9-9 flying dragon. That costs 16. It costs 16, but each land type you can you control, he pay you pay two less. So he can be he can be only cost you uh six. <laughs> but you need to have land of every color. So he's super fun to try to play. Uh coveted jewel, very nice art. Uh when it enters the battlefield, you draw three cards. You can add three mana of any color. Really nice. <gasps> Good. And good old Fungasaur. He's a reprint. When he's dealt damage, put a 1 1 counter on him. Um, Sweet. Triple rare pack! It was a triple rare pack. Yay. Love the crown jewel. The crown coveted jewel is uh, is definitely the best card in that pack. Uh, very nice. Alright. Concentrate. Draw three cards. You fuddle. Alright. Lightning bolt. Really nice. Uh, about three bucks. Good uncommon. Three bucks. It'd be good in three your uh, red three damage. In your red uh, decks. Okay, cool. Overgrown battlement, nice too. Jungle three bucks, barrier. Three damage. All right, you got yourself a land. All right, so we're into 
a Noble Spline Dragon. Most of these dragons aren't worth too, too much, but uh, this is a reprint from back in, uh, what's that set called? A lot of Lorwyn, cards, I think. A lot of, basically every card in this set. Is goblin right. Pile Driver. Really nice goblin. One of the best goblins ever made. Really nice. And Souls Attendant. A good old, uh, it's a common, but it's two bucks. I know, I looked it up. Got a couple of them. Goblin Pile Driver, definitely the hero of that pack. Really nice card. That was a double rare pack. Yeah, you got, well, and you got Lightning Bolt. So, um, uh, Uncle Slash, if you were trying to make your, sort of your attack, your your uh, mono red. Yes, yes. Uh, what's it called? Mono red, just whatever, your mono red attack deck. It is really fast. Two good cards. You just got two awesome cards for it. All right, Mystical Teachings, Silver Gill Adept, White of P Precinct 6. Myers Mellis. Let's see here. Root out. All right. Not bad. Cascade card. Cathari Remnant. All right. Get yourself a land. Perish. Destroy all green creatures. Those creatures cannot be regenerated this turn. This is a sideboard card. Mm -hmm. For three to be able to clear the board. Oh, man. Grave Titan is awesome. What does he do? He has a 6-6 six, six death touch. When he enters the battlefield or attacks, put two black 2-2 two, two zombie creatures onto the battlefield. Wow. He has a great oh. card, and I don't think we've pulled him. Uh, and you got yourself a fate spinner as well, which is very nice. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, that player chooses, it, chooses draw step, main phase, or combat phase. That player skips each instance of, those, of that chosen phase until end of turn. Fate Spinner is real nice. That was a real nice pack. Grave Titan's awesome, man. You're going to be happy with him. All right. Prodigal Sorcerer. They printed him at Uncommon. Very weird. All right. All right. Oh, he's a Timmy. He is a Timmy. All Hi, right. Mr. Timmy. All right. Tide Drinker. Very nice. Reliquary Tower. Got the regular Reliquary Tower. Very nice. All right. Master Transmuter. Very nice for artifact decks. Return an artifact you control to its owner's hand. You may put an artifact from your hand into play. Oh. Very beautiful. All right. Grave Crawler. Okay. Okay. He keeps coming back all the time. He is very great. He is great. And another rare. Herald of Leshrac. Uh, uh, it's got Cumulative Upkeep. Gain control of a land you don't control. Okay. He gets plus one one for each land you control but don't own. So this is a land steal leader. Oh yeah, we've already got him. Yeah. Uh, we still have nine packs left. Wow. Yeah, I gotta probably go a little faster because I think I'm over time. I just enjoy opening these so so much. It takes me too long. All right, we'll go a little faster through the commons on commons. Green merchant of Asphodel. Nice. Okay. All right, reclaim. Very nice common. All right, we're gonna pick up Ochre's Assassin, Fountain of Renewal, Lash Knight Barrier, Grasp of Face, Fate. Nice uncommon, or nice, nice rare, and your Tailor Nephilim. All right. See if we can get this video in around 25 minutes, which is okay with me. Battle Mastery, Enchanted Creature you Control has Double Strike, Gift of Estates. This one's really nice. Uh, you get to search for three planes if your opponent has more lands than you. It's essentially a land tax. Uh, tar fire. All right. Lots of uncommons. We have five, six, six uncommons in that pack. Precursor Golem. Uh, nothing to write home about. Aurelius Fury, though, is very nice. This is a mythic. Foil mythic. Yeah, very nice. All right. <laughs> All right. Curiosity, draw card, enchantment. Okay, Crows and Tusker, good, good playable card. Gaia's Blessing, Campaign of Vengeance, very good. Serrated Arrows, not so much. Guided Passage, very nice for a three color. Cool. Okay. Uh, oh, you got a, a Cage Sun. Cage Sun is uh, was twenty bucks. Ten, was it twenty bucks? I thought it was ten. I think it's. Either way, really nice. And Foil Mind Slaver, very nice pack. <laughs> Mindslaver, you can control somebody's turn. Yeah. Uh, Cage Sun, really nice. I, uh, Mindslaver, 
I kind of hate the cards, so it's hard to get excited about cards I hate. <laughs> All right. There's not too many cards I have a problem with, but uh, Mind Slaver is one of them for sure. I don't think you should get to control your opponent's turn. It just feels wrong. It feels like that, that ability shouldn't... Armor really appears good for acceleration. Magus of the Moat. Creatures without flying can't attack. He is great. That is a mythic. You got a mana crypt! Cool. That's 160 bucks. Really? We wow, just pulled awesome. the best card. We got a mana crypt, man! That's awesome. High five. High five. Wow! wow! What a pack! With the Magus of the Moat in that pack, and a Treasonous Ogre. Wow! Congratulations, Uncle Slash! Thank you. That's what we were hoping for. Well, I felt Uncle it. Slash. I could feel it. Uncle Slash got his money's worth and more out of this box. This box is probably a three hundred and fifty dollar box worth of cards at least. So uh, we're doing real well. Predict, very nice. Go for the throat. Play crafters, good. All right. We just had to pick up the pace a little bit, and then the cards just started flowing. All right. Oh, hey, hey, level up. Yay! Nice. You want to take a look at that? Gift of Raska, Soul Ring. Oh, Uncle Slash, man. Soul Ring. Cool. Thrun the Last Trolls, very nice. Wow, he's Tireless good. Tracker is a $10 card. He's and so Blighted Ancient. He's very good. Wow, very nice. Okay, we got three packs left. Uh, we're going to finish this off strong. I think Uncle Slash is uh, thinking that he made a good investment today. Yep. He uh, got his money's worth and more. All right. Careful. Yeah, very nice. All right, what do we got here? Cable Therapy, really nice card. Uncommon. So many good cards in this. I could open these packs all day. Knuckle of Eat, just fun. Toxin Sliver. Got himself oh. a Sliver. Recruiter nice. of the Guard. And a Balefire Triple Liege. Rare back. And this Balefire Liege is awesome. We have played it in our uh, in our white-red deck. Two. Really nice. But well, Balefire Liege is great, right? Yep. Basically makes all your red and white spells into, uh... In deal, gam deal damage. Well, what's the card that does that? Lightning Helix. Mm -hmm. Makes all of them into Lightning Helixes. Awesome. We like that trick. Alright. Alright, Animate the Dead. Very nice. So we have this really pack good. and then one more. Reckless Spite. This was an amazing one. Yeah, yeah, he's going to... Mm -hmm. Problem is, is, Ranker, that's a that's a oh, few dollars. Oh, Ranker! Uh, Ranker, as I've, I've probably said on the channel before, was originally supposed to be printed uh, as costing three. And they misprinted it, and they just kept it. And so it's been one of the best enchantments in the game for the length of the game. All right, Tinker. Love this card. All right. The Gitrog Monster, that's an $8 card. That is a mythic. He is great. And so rescue from the underworld. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, more than more than two. Three. Yeah, we have three. More Wait, we've two. got four. More than four. Alright. Probably like two. Last maybe. pack. If what he gets gonna... another mana crypt, that would be crazy. Oh my god, could you imagine? No, I can't. I I still want the uh send triplets, because we haven't got send triplets. Maybe? Could we finish with send triplets? You got yourself a, another Second? one of those creepy alien dudes. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. Oh. Solemn Simulcrum. Sad Robot. Oh. It's like a it's like an eight or nine dollar card. And intruder <laughs> alarm. Creatures don't untap during there's controllers on tap steps. Whenever a creature comes into play, untap all creatures. Very nice. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was fantastic. Um, I don't know. There's Look, there's piles of good mythics. cards. No, there's piles of good cards here. I'm not gonna count on the mythics. Okay. There's piles of good cards. Solemn Simulcrum. Uh, Tinker's awesome. I don't know if I'm going to go through them all this time. There's so many. Tireless Tracker, Throne the Last Troll, Mana Crypt, Magic's the Most, Cage Sun. Uh, what are the other big ones? Grave Crawler's pretty good. Master Chim Eater's good. Big Card, Grave Titan. Goblin Pile Driver. Coveted Jewel. Teferi's Protection's the absolutely huge card. All kinds of good cards. Not going to go through them all. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a magical, wonderful... Fantabulous, spectacular day. 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 Bye. <laughs>